I said she had to take a side, and now she has. Yesterday, in one of my videos, I said that the mayoress of Scotland, I'm not calling her minister anymore because she's not, she's just basically a metro mayor. I said she had to pick a side over this oil field and fast due to her deal with the Greens. And now she has. She's wrote and written an open letter to Boris Johnson calling for a summit to discuss the drilling on the oil field and she's rowing back on the use of said oil field. Only a couple of years ago, she supported this drilling in these tweets because she knew it's the only way Scotland could get money in after, well, the independence that she wants but will never get. Now, though, she's been forced to do a deal with the Greens and the Greens could never sign up to a deal, really, that allowed drilling on a new oil field because they'd be scared of the rep reprisals from their own support. So she's now effectively saying, I don't care about the thousands of people that work in the oil industry. Let them go on the dole. Forget the billions of pounds that this oil field is worth to the economy. An, eco an economy, by the way, that is on its ass. She also, also wants you to forget that this oil field was the reason she reckoned independence would be okay for Scotland because it would prop up the Scottish economy. And now, if she gets her way, it won't. Thankfully, as nothing more than a metro mayor, she has no power to make the decision on this oil field and the decision rests firmly with Westminster. Let's hope Boris doesn't, li Boris doesn't listen to his missus and actually makes the right decision on this. Sod the green agenda, get drilling and get selling. This is worth huge amounts of jobs and huge amounts of money to the economy. Who would ever vote Green or SNP ever again?